well here we are, we've arrived. Lovely drive down, not too bad, down near Limoges, so it's about six and a half, seven hours from Calais. But we're here at Chavignac Lake, and I've looked forward to this one for quite a while. Why? Well, listen to that. Peace and quiet, just fish jumping out there and birds singing in the trees, so I'm gonna enjoy this. We had a lake exclusive booking, meaning that we could fish from any swim. Our original idea was to pick a central swim so that we could cover more of the lake, more of the water. But when we arrived and had a look around, it was quite clear that most of the fish were down the dam end of the, the lake. The wind was blowing down that way and we could see fish showing. So what we did for a start was to pick swim three, which covers the dam wall area of the lake pretty well. and you know, just see how it went, monitor things, and uh, if we'd need to move later, we could do that. But it was important to be on the fish. By the time we got everything sorted, it was already dark. The big, bright, full moon was already shining up in the sky. And, yeah, it was important to get a good night's rest and hopefully get ready for action the next day. Oh, getting that first run was brilliant, but it was early days and the fish didn't feel particularly that big, so I didn't bother filming the fight, something I was going to regret. Well, I thought I wouldn't bother filming the fight because it didn't feel very big. And it turns out it's, it's a nice chunky common. How oh, lovely that is. All right, all zero ready to the sling. See what we got. Lovely, that is 48 and a half. God, there's a turn up. Didn't think it was going to be anywhere near that size. Right. Gorgeous, that, and that. Well, if that's the stamp of the fish that are in here, certainly pleased we came. Because that is really nice. Good. <laughs> Very happy with that. God, what a clonker. Right, let's get back. Mwah. The weather was really nice and sunny, getting pretty warm. But it hadn't been like that for long. The previous week had been fairly cold by all accounts. And the anglers reported saying they was only really catching on singles. Well, I was determined to put a bit more food out. You know, I wanted to get some bait out there, get them feeding and turn them on as the week went on. And with so much water to cover, decided to put a couple of rods up the bank facing further up the lake so that we could cover a bit more water as I was sure the fish were going to move up there eventually if they wasn't already there. Of course it was one of those that went off next. Joan took that rod and uh, she was having a tough battle until she saw what it was and then she handed the rod to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Good old, oh they do scrap. Good old scrap. And uh, yeah, I was quite surprised. Didn't know there was any of these in there. But there we go, there is. But um, not the carp I was hoping for, but um, a good bit of fun anyway. Right, let's get back. As we soon found out, Nicola the Sturgeon was quite a regular visitor to the bank and it wasn't the only time we was going to be seeing her this week. But it still seemed the centre of attention was around the damn wall. That looked like where the next action was going to come from. And sure enough, Monster, nice fish though. Mm -hmm. uh, welcome, aren't they? Coming towards the end of an eventful first day. So, right, let's get back, get the rod out, because um, there needs more to come. Yeah, nice common, just short of 40 pound, and uh, looks a bit like one of the old St. Lawrence commons. Lovely long, hard fighting fish, but um, yeah, lovely, lovely way to start the day anyway. As it turned out, it was going to be a busy day. When the sun rose a bit more in the sky and it started to warm up, the fish really started to get their heads down. And I don't know how many runs I had that day, it was certainly six or seven, but there was a procession of lovely mirrors and commons, mostly around sort of mid to high thirties. But then towards the end of the day, something really special came along again, a lovely big chunk of 48 and a half pound. The fishing was going great, no question about that. But there's more to Chavignac than just the fish. The power points around the lake were really handy. But the little chalet that we passed on the way in, that's also there for the anglers. This is still work in progress, but it's certainly nearly there. This is a lot, God, it's so lovely and cool in here. It's red hot outside today, but really nice and cool in here. And they're gonna have a big flat screen TV put on the wall there. You can see all the wires ready for that to go in place, but there's a TV already here. Right, and if we walk through here, this brings you into the kitchen. Part of the exclusive package for the anglers. There's a toilet, so, nice and clean, but nice to have a flush toilet on the lake, isn't it, sometimes? Wash basins there, two showers, one there, one there. And a fridge and a freezer here. It's literally just a walk up the bank and uh, you've got all your nice fresh cold food in there and freezer underneath. A really nice package what they put together here for the English anglers. 
and all else is that you enjoy it and look after it and out there there's loads of lovely carp Well, it's just typical, isn't it? We sat there literally all evening, looking out over the lake, watching fish boshing about over all the rods, waiting for one to go off. Of course, didn't go off. Get into bed, zip up the sleeping bag, beep. <laughs> How do they know, eh? But um, yeah, it was worth getting out of bed for anyway. Lovely 42 pound scaly mirror. Nice one, isn't it? There we go, right. Let's get him back and uh, back to Betty Buys. Well, an eventful night. Had a bit of a sort of low front move in, bit of drizzle, and uh, seemed to turn the, the fish on a little bit. A 19 pounder early on, let that sort of just just let it go early evening. Then the sturgeon again, Nicola the sturgeon, let that one go as well. And then uh, then lost one as well, which was a shame. But uh, yeah, when it was getting on towards first light, finally got a couple. This was certainly the the pick of the bunch. Lovely old looking grey mirror. This one, 42 pound, big lovely big scales on the shoulder there cracking fish and then just after that it went off again with a 35 pound mirror so yeah it's fishing well which is all we ask for with a whole week on our hands it's easy to think that you've just got plenty of time for everything but when you're getting plenty of action as well it's important to make the most of the quiet times whether that's putting a bit of fresh line on or just tying some fresh rigs. Now, I've been using the Slip D for the past 18 months, two years, and it's worked really well. So, yeah, it's nice just to take a bit of time out, sit down and tie a few rigs. And what do they say? Preparation is everything. Just need a bait on there and ready to go. Slip these on all rods as usual. Scope it squid to go on there. After a while, the sunshine gave way to a bit of cloud and rain, but the important thing was the temperature still stayed pretty high and it looked great out there. I'd actually just redone this rod about an hour ago. I replaced it last night, but I don't think I've got it in the right spot, so I got it back out there and uh, yeah, well, it's gone off, so yeah, it was worth doing. Oh, two cracking 40 pounders, literally within a few minutes of each other, but from virtually totally opposite ends of the lake. Uh, both 43 pounders actually, this one just had the edge by a few ounces, 43 and a half, uh, which came from up to the left basically. Lovely old grey one. Lovely fish that, isn't it? 
yeah, and here's the other one. Very different looking sort of fish, more brownie, more classical carp. It's a lovely shape. But uh, yeah, 43 pound again. Gorgeous, isn't it? Lovely fish. Ooh, need a cup of tea. After a few days, it was quite clear that the action was starting to tail off a little bit along the dam wall section. No surprise really, because most of our attention had been focused around that, and also that's where most of the lines had been. And as we all know, carp like to avoid lines at all costs. So it was quite clear that fish were starting to move towards the other end of the lake, and that was even more obvious when I put the drone up, and you could see them there. So decisions had to be made. Forty-eight, twelve, just under forty-nine. Okay, lovely. It's another cracker. Forty-eight pound twelve, so it equals the best what we've had so far this week. But it's another one from up the top end behind me. So I think what we're going to do is have a move. We've still got three nights left, and the bulk of the fish seem to be up that top end and chunks like this, you know, there's good ones up there. And actually, in front of us, we're only picking off the odd one, so I think we're gonna have a, a move of swims up there where we can target what seems to be the bulk of the fish and, uh, well, get a few more like this, hopefully. So, see you soon. Yeah, we're gonna have a move just up one swim, this is post two, and yeah, very similar, lovely spacious swim. But the important thing is, most of the fish come from that sort of area now, so I can cover that area. Instead of one rod, I can get two or three there. We still angle them up and down, but um, here we go, three nights left, and a move on the cards, but new swim, new confidence. Right. See you when we're set up. Well, move completed. It was a job and a half, it really was. But there we go, a welcome to the new swim. I knew there was a few of these knocking around in here. Even saw a few the other day from the drone, actually. But um, yeah, I love them. All different colours and uh, varieties, aren't they? And uh, yeah, he's lovely, isn't he? So I'm very happy with him. Right, it's nearly dark now, so uh, let's get him back and, uh, well, get the kettle on, a quick cup of tea and bed, I think. I'm worn out after moving all that gear today, but um, he's brightened up the day anyway. Oh, well it took a lot longer than expected um, it was nearly dark by the time we finally got set up in here last night but here we are in swim two now so it's all looking good more central here so i can cover the lake a bit better and uh yeah it's a lovely comfortable swim so we'll have a nice relaxing day today hopefully There's an old saying that you should be careful what you wish for because that's exactly what we got, a quiet day. And it was strange, you know, we'd moved swims to get on the bulk of the fish and all of a sudden it seemed like the lake went very quiet. Was it something to do with us or was it just one of those days where the fish were laying low? Uh, time would tell, I suppose. As it turned out, as evening wore on, we got the answer we were looking for. Fish started to show, and it wasn't long before one ripped off. Now 
There we go, he's a nice old character, isn't he? Big old scar there from the past. Big dorsal. Right, we'll just see what he weighs. Uh, just over 31, 31 and a quarter, something like that. Yeah, there we go. Not massive, but a lovely old character. Didn't know it at the time, but after a quiet day, it was about to be a very busy night. Well, if it sounds like I'm a bit tired, because I am. <laughs> God, it was a quiet day yesterday. Don't know what, what that was all about, but um, from evening through till this morning, I had nine runs. And uh, so I haven't had hardly any sleep, but it was all worth it for this one. Oh, because I was just saying yesterday, you know, we've had loads of good fish. 348s. Just uh, couldn't, couldn't get a 50. And then this one comes along. 56 pound. God, what a chunk. God, big fat mama. That was all I wanted, one of them. And here she is. Very, very happy with that. Oh, it's near the end of the trip, so, uh, just the icing on the cake. Well, it's been a brilliant week anyway. This one just topped it. Happy days. Well, if 150 wasn't enough, here's another one, 51 and a half. And uh, yeah, I don't know the fish in this lake. I presume some of them are pretty well known. This one certainly will be because he's got no pecs, which is a bit strange. But he's a lovely fish all the same. Absolute cracker. Oh, I was so pleased to see him. I mean, the other one, the big one was job done, but this, never a bad time over 50, is it? So there we go. Very nice to see him. Oh. Well, not much more to say. He's a lovely fish, so quick kiss. Let's get him back. such a busy night without much sleep all I really wanted to do is just go back to bed and uh, relax but we couldn't do that we had arranged to meet up with Jean Noel the owner of Secret Garden to go and have a look at another couple of lakes and also go out for a meal which turned out to be really nice but it meant reeling in the rods having a quick shower and heading off before I did that however there were hungry fish out there so I made sure I'd give them plenty of food to get on with while we were gone fish must have been enjoying themselves while we was away because literally as soon as we got back and got the rod out it wasn't long before one ripped off with a really powerful fish. Giving it what for? Oh, she blows.
Lovely, he's a nice one. <laughs> That's another good one, isn't it? Oh, this scale is great, it looks an awful lot. Yeah, no, I've, I have zeroed them to the sling. Yeah, that's what they weigh, the slings weigh, they weigh about, I forget what it is, three or four pound. I know it seems a lot, but no, it's right. If we're lucky, this is something beginning with five. Ooh. Ooh. And that is a fraction over 53. I guess that's one of the joys of resting the swim. Don't do it often really. And uh, didn't really want to leave the lake today, but we had a, a really nice day out with John Noel. Looked at a couple of other lakes, been to Secret Garden, had a lovely meal. Come back and got the rods out. And uh, yeah, for whoop, first bite, seen a few showing out there, so didn't think the bite was too far away. And there we go, lovely huggy. <laughs> last evening, but um, maybe another busy night ahead, who knows? Don't really matter, does it? <sighs> That'll do for now, right? Oh. They're lovely, these big ones. They're off, mate. Your arms ache. Oh, oh. but lovely. Brilliant. Oh, fish jumping over there. Well, these are literally the only couple of rods left out now. Getting packed down, just the bivvy to go there. We were just having a cup of tea, actually. We are putting the bivvy away and, uh, well, it's gone off, of course. <laughs> oh, beautiful morning. Just been lovely here. Just the birds singing. And the R4s screaming. Thirty, thirty-three pound or something. Lovely, but we've had loads of lovely fish. So I'm just gonna unhook him in the net and let him go. Off you go, sunshine. <laughs> Waving me goodbye. <sighs> Catching carp on the last morning with the sun just coming up. It's a nice way to end. Well, this really is the last one this time. Because all the rods are in, we've just got to get the bivvy down. But yeah, one last absolute cracker. Another big chunk, 48, just over 48. <sighs> to end what's been a, oh, what a brilliant week it's been. We've really loved being here. Had loads of fish now. 350s towards the end which really made it but we had another four over 48 pound which could have been 50 on another day but um yeah just loads and loads of lovely fish proper chunk of a mirror this one really wide across the shoulders Absolutely beautiful, perfect condition. Another lovely Chavignac carp. Carl, we've had a brilliant time here. Thanks to Fabian, John Noel, everyone else, Paul and Carmen, the Armfield Angling, because God, this place is fantastic. We're going to come back here for sure, absolutely sure, because we love it here and we love these things. Right, all that's left is 
get this one back, get the bivvy down, put it in the van and head off home. So uh, there we go, see you next time. Mwah. <laughs>